Hey. We we'll want to take the opportunity to thank management for whatever facilitation they have given us to enable this function take place and to enable us to hold the election tomorrow. I take the opportunity to thank the caretaker government for the advice and the direction they have been giving to the Electoral Commission. I take the opportunity to thank the Electoral Commission for a work that they have done so well despite a lot of challenges. The Electoral Commission has been in the kitchen, there has been a lot of smoke in the kitchen, but they have been able to deliver this with a lot of struggle. Thank you so much. I also take the opportunity to thank the former Electoral Commission because they have always consulted them. They have always opportunity also thank the former Electoral Commission because they have given their guidance whenever called upon and they have made the path easy for this present Electoral Commission to do their work. I would like to take also the opportunity to thank the student's leadership in the previous government for the work well done. Whatever has not gone on well was not because of their own making but because of the challenges they faced here and there. I take this opportunity once again to thank the students who have offered themselves to compete for these leadership positions for which we are going to have election tomorrow. It is not the faint-hearted that can come up and say, I offer myself for election. So tomorrow is the day for election and that will close the chapter. After that, we have to go back to the businesses that we have been doing. For those who I have been made to understand, there are some of who went unopposed. For those who went unopposed, you have a challenge because you have to prove to people that indeed you are the person who was meant for the job, you have the capabilities, and you have the everything. Now, I call upon you. I know that this election period could have caused some rift between people, but good enough, the both camps are talking about unity. You should therefore preach this unity after tomorrow's election. Unity should be the key. You must have unity for all, unity of all the students, all the citizens, like you are saying, and unity of purpose. Because after that, you are going to unite for a common purpose. And what is this common purpose? The student of Soroti University, because these are the people you are going to serve. I also call upon your tolerance. People should tolerate one another. Election period always comes with a lot of competition, a lot of mud slinging and everything. But tolerance is needed. I call upon you to have show integrity while going about soliciting for this debate. As a leader and aspiring leaders, you must have goals. You must have your visions to serve the student community and also Soroti University. When you come into leadership, that is when you realize that your role will be not only to the students, but also to Soroti University. So you need to make the divide. And I'm calling upon you that tomorrow you need to observe the election regulations. And the election regulations are very clear in the Constitution. All of you who are contesting and the ones who are supporting should go back to the Constitution and you read. If it says no campaigning in the ground, election ground, please don't do so. Because if you do so, you will get caught up in the middle. Now, when people were presenting, as they were answering, the, the presidential candidates, as they were answering, the moderator put to them the question of the gay. It is not just only gay, the famous abbreviation LGBTQ plus is a very serious issue. A serious issue that has caused a lot of health problems, but also psychological problems. I very well know, recently we were in a workshop, and we know that in universities those people exist. How are you going to ensure that these people realize that they have the wrong orientation probably? Because one time one of the deans told us, as he was talking with a student who was gay, the student said, but Dean, are you going to give me the fees? These people are paying my fees. So what is your agenda in addressing these issues? Two, I know that the students of Sorot University have suffered a lot of psychological trauma, psychological turmoil, maybe because of the nature of the course you are doing. What is your plan for the psychosocial support? I know that the university counselor is there, but you as the student's leader, 
how are you going to provide psychosocial support and counseling to your fellow students? This was a question that I had wanted to come out very clearly because many times people have challenges, psychological challenges, social challenges that they may not even share with the counselor. You as the student leaders, what is your role? How are you going to do this? Are you going to have a psychosocial club, for example? Are you going to have peer counselors among the fellow students to help deal with the students' social problems, psychological problems? The students have quite a number of them, and therefore that should be one of the issues that you people should address very, very seriously. Otherwise, we have had students falling out, dropping out from universities simply because of psychological problems. And one of the things that are facing students in universities are drug abuse. We were told that there is a, a certain very popular type of cookies. When you organize your birthdays and you give these cookies to colleagues, you just find people collapsing. They become so high and they've been collapsing there until they had to end up in rehabilitation. So, how are you going to protect the psychological well-being, the mental well-being of the students of Soroti University from such vices. So these are the things that you need to take into consideration and I pray for your maximum cooperation tomorrow. Go out, cast your votes and maintain peace. We call upon you to maintain peace. Don't be rowdy. Just do the work of casting your vote and you go away and wait for the time of the declaration of the results. The results, life should go back to normal. People should learn to work together for the betterment of the students' community and also for Soroti University. Thank you so much. Once again.